Hi, I'm Bob Brikowski, and accidents like this are totally, completely unacceptable. Three out of two Lego people die every year because of car crashes, and this is just totally, completely unacceptable. So, I propose a new system that'll fix these problems and prevent car crashes like this from ever happening again. Phew! Introducing the brand new traffic light system. Look at it in all its Lego piece glory. Let's take a look at some of its key features. The cornerstone of the traffic light system is the three aspect colored light signal. The bottom aspect in the signal is green, which means traffic is allowed to proceed through the intersection as it normally would. Above it is the yellow aspect. The yellow aspect means cars must prepare to stop, and this is followed almost immediately by the red signal, which means cars must stop at the intersection to allow cross traffic through. The other critical part of our traffic system is the Hall Effect sensor located underneath the roadway. What can be seen here is circled, where it was recently installed into the road surface. These sensors are critical because they detect the magnetic field produced by the magnets located underneath all of our cars. The sensor then tells the traffic computer that there is a car waiting to cross the intersection and will eventually set the light to green to allow the traffic to flow through. These Hall Effect sensors are extremely reliable and work with every kind of vehicle. Even a tank. Whee! The third and final part of the traffic system is the Arduino Uno microcontroller. This mini computer controls all the signal aspects and all sensor inputs for the intersection to ensure that all traffic flows safely and in a timely manner. Whew. To better understand how this system works, we will now show a demonstration of a car entering the signal and proceeding through it safely. To begin, a car first enters the intersection and stops because its signal is red. The Hall Effect sensors detect the magnet underneath the car and tell the traffic computer that there is a car waiting to enter the intersection. On the cross traffic direction, the signal, which is currently set to green, begins to transition. First to yellow, then to red. Simultaneously, once the signal on the cross traffic is set to red, the signal for the red car that has entered the intersection now switches to green. The car is now free to proceed as it normally would, which in this case was crashing into a pole and riding up the side of a building. Terrible, terrible drivers. You still can't fix that. One problem with this type of traffic system is that emergency vehicles would have to stop and wait for cross traffic like normal vehicles. This would delay the response time of these vehicles to emergency situations, which could mean the difference between life and death. To alleviate this problem, infrared sensors have been installed into the intersection. One can be seen here mounted to the side of this building. These sensors detect IR transmitters mounted to emer the emergency vehicles. Once the sensor detects an emergency vehicle's approach to the intersection, the traffic computer sets all signals to red stopping all traffic. Once the intersection is secured, the emergency vehicle is allowed to proceed through the intersection safely, thus maintaining rapid response times and potentially saving lives. Let's take a look at how this works. Pshoo! To begin, emergency vehicle approaches the intersection. All traffic is immediately ordered to stop at the intersection and allow the emergency vehicle to proceed through. The emergency vehicle is now free to enter the intersection freely and safely and proceed to its destination in a timely manner. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the traffic light system. This concludes our presentation and we hope you learned a lot and safe driving out there people.